Hi, this is Shihan Husseini and you're watching one more episode of uh, the YouTube channel, Shihan Husseini. In this episode, uh, I'm going to show you my two-day workshop uh, uh, done for the 41st NTPC Senior Archery Nationals. The two-day workshop was conducted in, uh, in Chennai and uh, right now you're watching uh, one of my archers, a para-archer, Farooq. Farooq has uh, got a new bow, the Invicta, which is a very, very new bow, uh, brought up by Hoyt, and uh, he's going to do his first shot. So, on an overlap, I'm going to uh, show you how he took his first shot with his uh, Invicta bow. Uh, let's go and move on. I must tell you about uh, Farooq. Farooq had a small issue with his uh, leg and uh, when he first came, I just told him, why don't you amputate your leg and come back, you'll be able to shoot better. He actually took it very seriously, went amputated his leg and uh, came back and uh, now he is a para-archer. He's got his new bow and uh, uh, he's going for his uh, first ever para-nationals in uh, Haryana and uh, now with his new bow, the Invicta, he's going to take his first shot. Let's watch it buying a new bow and uh, uh, shooting the first arrow can be truly an exhilarating experience and I'm sure that's what uh, Farooq is uh, absolutely feeling right now. Uh, he has uh, knocked his uh, arrow and uh, raised his bow, he's drawing, I, I'm giving a little support to him and uh, he's on his own right now aiming and for his first shot. There he goes, aims and uh, delivers his uh, first shot into a, a buttress. Lovely. Well, now let's go and check out what the Tamil Nadu State uh, Senior Archery Team is up to. They're going down for the Senior Archery Nationals at uh, Jammu Kashmir. Well, I'm going to introduce my uh, senior archer. That's uh, Guru and this is uh, Sriram. Both of them are compound archers and now you're going to see the recurve archers. You have Mayuri, you have Sweta and you have Sneha Varshini there. This is Tara right now. We're drawing the golden bow. She's a sub junior, uh, but she won't be coming to this national. She'll go and come for the next national at Rajasthan. That's Solai. Solai is a senior archer from the Hu Archery Mission. And uh, we have uh, other archers, that's uh, Yuvashri and Durga, they're also compound archers. And uh, as we move and show you, those are Indian archers. Uh, and uh, this is uh, Madhura Varshini, uh, that's uh, Priya Darshini, a very, very good archer from Tiruchi, from the Hu Archery Mission Tiruchi. That's uh, Aishmika, Aishmika is another of uh, our compound archers. And these guys are practicing. On the side, uh, the Indian archers, and now you are, that's the compound yeah, archers, yeah. and uh, that's, uh, compound well, uh, and then, uh, the uh, men, uh, yes, senior compound archers, that's uh, Tara standing and uh, getting ready to shoot. Uh, you are watching uh, the uh, archery range at the Who uh, Archery Mission, uh, uh, MJ Janaki Women's College uh, at Chennai. Uh, this is the senior Rika archers and shooting the men. As well as the women, you can see Karna there. The uh, that's Neha Varshini, and oh, on the left nine, side we have uh, Mayuri and Sweda nine. taking a shot at 70 meters. 70 meters is the distance that they shoot when they go for the competitions. And uh, let's move on to the live audio. Stay in Varshini, too long a hold. Six to two o'clock. How long a holder, Banali? Is uh, shooting here, and uh, this is the set one. We have our uh, uh, little champion, Mr. Vian. Uh, so, you're happy shooting? Yeah. Uh, the camp is not going to be here. Kali Rande will not be able to practice. We break it. But uh, these guys are the uh, heroes right now. I'm taking a small little break to focus on the little kids. That was Vyan Vamsi. This is Gavishna. Gavishna, Vyan Vamsi and uh, Arudra and all the whole lot of other kids are into a project called Mission Brisbane. For the mission, uh, the mission is to make sure that these kids go down to the Brisbane Olympics in 2032. And uh, Gavishna that you're watching right now is an amazing shooter. She just came and joined now, but then she does amazingly well. She shoots about 600 arrows every single day. Brisbane, Australia, Brisbane, 
ட்வெண்ட்டி தேர்ட்டி டூவில் ஒலிம்பிக்ஸ் நடக்க போகுது அதில் இந்த பொருள் இவங்க தான் டெஃபினட்டாக ஜெயிப்போம் ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் நோட் அவுட் Well, this is little Jaswan, that is Father Balaji. Uh, Jaswan, this is a junior archer. And uh, I spent a lot of time with these little kids correcting them. Uh, I'm just correcting his uh, release. Uh, I'm just telling him that uh, the string has to touch the nose before he releases it. Uh, actually, the guy's form is really nice. At this age, if the children can start, they can really go places. Well, this is Arudra and Tamari uh, Hamam. Uh, Arudra is also a very, very interested kid. She also belongs to the Team Brisbane Olympics and I'm uh, just uh, adjusting her uh, string. Uh, well, uh, she's saying hi to all of you. <laughs> well, it's so much fun to be with these little kids. Uh, you really get blown away by the way they focus, they pick up uh, whatever you say. The lady with the light blue T-shirt is a... Uh, Pungulali, I very lovingly call her Pundukali. She's a national judge, uh, having scored the highest in her uh, batch. And I'm dictating a, a note, a letter to her. This is a, a Mahima. Mahima is coming down and helping me to uh, do a knocking point for a little uh, Gavishna. Uh, Gavishna has changed a new string and uh, I'm doing a knocking point. Uh, archers who, Rikab archers know what a knocking point is. And... Uh, I do this uh, personally with all the archers and I love seeing them shoot. Uh, Arudra is now shooting and I'm just trying to correct uh, Arudra's uh, head form. I want her to keep her head straight and uh, as her mother watches. And uh, when she draws, sometimes uh, she does not change her elbow. She doesn't turn her elbow. So I'm going to teach her mom how to make sure that uh, uh, she corrects when Arudra shoots. I'm asking her to change or turn her elbow inward. And uh, because she's not, I'm going to teach her mom how to do it. Uh, it's always nice to include parents into the teaching process because they can become a very, very good uh, uh, coach later. Parents are the best coaches and I believe in teaching parents how to train the little kids. The interest they show in correcting the kids' forms are amazing. Well, now I'm addressing Tamari Divya as well as uh, Rudrapak. Rudrapak, uh, I have forgotten actually a name. I love to call her Rudrapak. I'm talking to them about the various three kinds of goals, the outcome goals, the process goals, and the performance goals. And I'm going to allow you to listen to my uh, live audio, though the live audio is not very clear. I'm talking to them uh, uh, in mixed Tamil. I want you to watch my live audio. In short, I'm telling the parents that they have to focus on the children's uh, performance rather than the outcome. Uh, we all talk only about uh, how much scoring they have done, how many scores they have taken. It's better to focus on individual performances, uh, uh, the release, the hold, the, the T-form, the form, etc. Uh, I want to emphasize to the parents that they need to focus on these. Over to my live audio. Eyes open, raises, free draw, draw. Now he counts one, two, and release it. If it's exactly in the process, it comes. Then. Well, it's uh, now time to address the archers, and I've asked all of them to fall in. Rudra Park gets uh, Vian's uh, diary signed, and uh, all the archers are ready to listen to my instructions. Uh, they're all getting ready to go down to the senior nationals at Jammu Kashmir, and. Uh, uh, so I need to give them the right instructions and today I'm talking to them about uh, how important it is to attend these uh, workshops uh, before they go for a nationals because it's a time for them to gel together, it's a time for them to interact with each other, it's a time for them to uh, know the rules and regulations uh, and I always like to emphasize that uh, uh, I would not like to make corrections just before they go for a competition because they're used to a particular way of shooting and uh, 
uh, making corrections in the last minute uh, would not serve any purpose. It's going to be counterproductive. And I'm also emphasizing to my archers that uh, they need to focus on pre-performance routines. Pre-performance routines are very, very important because they teach archers how to uh, shoot in the ground like they're shooting in the competition and how to shoot in the competition the way they're going to shoot uh, in uh, uh, the field. I am addressing them as to how they need to be mentally prepared to uh, do a good job at uh, Jammu Kashmir. I love addressing my archers every single day before. I took a small break to give a surprise visit to uh, Rika Vacha Kamna's uh, father's birthday celebrations. Uh, I didn't even tell them that I'm coming and I gave them a, a, a surprise visit. Uh, it was fun to interact with the families of our archers. Gifted him uh, a, a bouquet. Well, I'm back to the uh, field to celebrate another birthday, this time of uh, one of our archers, uh, Aradhana. It's so much fun to celebrate birthdays of all the archers. Uh, that's uh, Kamna getting the cake ready and uh, Arudra, and I'm sorry, Aradhana is blowing the candle. Over oh, to some live audio and this time I'm addressing about pressure to my archers. Always understand mind and chicken pressure Pressure cooker is there. I took it. I have a full pressure of two kilo. Rocket material pressure put up two kilo. Are they pressure? Tell me about a day for you. Do not take up. Try to stand on a podium. You made a male naked practice for you. And the male earth of a tail extension. I mean, so pressure can be used in two ways to push you up and to push you down. There is something called a controlling of your arousal. Arousal. Well, I'm telling them to keep things simple. There are only another four or five days for the senior nationals and I don't want them to complicate things by thinking too much. Today, archers suffer, especially elite archers suffer from something called uh, analysis paralysis. They start thinking too much. Uh, uh, how my arrow is going to go, how my last arrow is, how I'm going to shoot. Uh, so it's always better that they make things the shot as simple as possible. Uh, I'm telling my archers not to uh, worry too much and uh, uh, keep practicing the pre-performance routine over and over again in their minds. Uh, in the next four days, I want my archers to at least practice their pre-performance routine at least 50 to 60 times because the pre-performance routine is one thing that is going to take them off their stress levels. It's going to bring down the stress uh, for all of them. And uh, I am also telling my archers that discipline is very, very important and I'm not going to take the indiscipline easily at all. Uh, Anybody who uh, is indisciplined is out. Now it's time to check the camp timing. That was Priya Darshini and now this is Aishmika. I'm checking the camp timings of their bows. If uh, uh, both the uh, uh, camps are functioning at the same time, this, the timing is right. That is uh, Madhura Varshini. And this is our lead archer Guru. Guru Prakash is a uh, uh, big promise from Tamil Nadu state. Uh, surprisingly, his uh, cam uh, timing was not right, so we need to correct it. This is uh, Farooq. Farooq's timing is perfectly all right. And uh, this is uh, Tinu, uh, one of the other archers. And uh, I'm checking out his cam timing. That was perfectly fine. And uh, it's always good to check uh, the equipment of every archer before we go for a competition. This is Muttu. Muttu is uh, the fourth archer from uh, uh, Tamil Nadu state. This is elite archer Mahima and I'm correcting a target panic. Till I catch you again in another episode, this is Shihan and Saini saying bye from me. Bye-bye.